Hello there, kids, and it's I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming in with another episode of Shadows of War. Blah, 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 blue, 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 but. Blue, but. Okay, anyway. Hello there, kids, and it's I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming in with another episode of Shadow of War. Alright, and we left off. Um, I was not where I am right now. In fact, I don't have the. I didn't have the uh, field as revealed as I do right now. Um, here's a thing that I did. Um, as you can see right here, the menu option, I have it on Grave Avenger for online vendettas. I've been doing a lot of those. A lot of those. <laughs> uh, so much so that I have earned at least four or five Spoils of War chests. Um... Some of those, uh, some of those followers from those chests I broke down for gear. Others I did not. Uh, so they're currently sitting in my, um, whoa boy. <laughs> Batteries are dying. Rollicking good start. Okay. Um, some of them are sitting in my garrison and others are just, just fucking around in my, uh, inventory. But, uh, well, so the gear from them. Anyway, um... I've broken down some of the gear that I wasn't going to use. Anyway, um, I have 47 followers right now. Some of those were also me getting silver war chests, which I know I said I was going to do in Act 2. However, these things also have consumable bonuses that I figured, fuck it, I need to have these. So, I used some of them. I got some bonuses. And it's showing zero right now, but I have two of these and one of these. This is one I used a lot. This one I used a little bit. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Why don't you use a fucking wired controller, Tom? Because I'm an idiot! Alright. Anyway. <laughs> this I've used a little bit. This I've used quite a bit. And that's where I earned most of my um, Spoils of War chests. Now, that said, the followers I've earned are kind of mainly common in epics. That's pretty much the majority of them. These few have been earned recently. Uh, this one was earned recently. This was one of the first ones. These guys are cool. I'm going to be keeping them. <laughs> I'm not going to be breaking them down for nothing. Now, um, that said, uh, I did break down a couple of legendaries that were worth it. And I have gotten a bit of legendary gear that was worth it. Um, should show that a little bit. I got... The Sword of War, from a recent one, Douche War Master. Um, it was a warmonger. And uh, this one I'm probably not going to be using. As I said, my uh, set that I wanted to use was Dark Mystic. So, I already have most of the Dark. I don't have them upgraded, but I have most of the Dark. But, that said, the... Uh, <laughs> I did get this, and I did get Sword of Vengeance from doing all of the, you know, online vendettas. I got most of those. So, um, this was also a dagger from the Vengeance line. I got that. I'm not using it because... Well, I mean, I guess I could, but it's not for the set that I want, so it's kind of worthless to grab. Anyway... Uh, I grabbed this a while ago, it, considering I'm wanting to use the dark set and it requires poison, well, it helps my poison, rather, um, I figured, might as well get a lot of poison items, and right now I'm sitting on this one. Uh, we got Darkest Longbow, which uh, increases poison damage to enemies by 23%, and gives me a chance to replenish Elf Shot, which is pretty nice. Um... 
This one I'll be using along with the armor, which I have the darkest set of armor right here. And that'll eventually be upgraded once I get to complete that level 40 upgrade challenge. I'm a little annoyed that it only does it every 20 levels, but hey, what can you do? Now, the one I'm currently wearing right here is Venomborn, which, again, applies a lot of poison. I like that, so we're keeping that for now. I also have Armor of Vengeance, again, another uh, vendetta thing that I have. It's fairly useful, I mean, if you're doing that. I don't know if I... Did I have that? Yes, I did have the Longbow of Vengeance as well. Okay, I did pick that up. And I also have the Bright Lord's Cloak, which was from a while, a while ago, and the Cloak of Vengeance. So I have everything except the Rune of Vengeance on Talion right now. I have all of those, pretty much. So, uh, that said, character-wise, I should go over, to, <laughs> go over that a little bit. I've been gaining a lot of levels. Quite a fuck ton, <laughs> in fact. Um, right when I first started doing the online vendettas, I was getting ass loads of XP. And I figured, fuck it, this would be the greatest way to build up my level and not have to make you guys suffer with me being low level piece of shit. Now that said, I'm huger than I intended to be. <laughs> Level 28, I lost track of my mind. I did not mean to be at level 28. But eventually it got to a point where I just kept going because it was fun. So, um, there's that. Uh, that was the way I got huge. That's the way I'm probably going to continue to get huge in this game. Because the online vendettas... Do not alter the army screen on my side in any way. And to top it off, I can pretty much putz around on other people's little areas without affecting mine whatsoever, which is nice. That said, I will try and keep the putzing around in online vendettas to a minimum as much as I can. Because this game is fun as shit. Uh, anyway, now that I've said all that, let's show the army, which I've gained pretty much an entire view of. Um, I know everyone up in the stronghold. They're all dark, which makes sense considering this is a dark stronghold. The overlord we don't know, and I cannot know until I get to one of these guys, apparently. I'm not at a point where I can do that. I've tried Worms before, I cannot get info on him for right now from them. So I'm assuming I have to go through one of these guys. But, that'll eventually happen. Now everyone else here, I should probably uh, show them one at a time. Arsaku Ear Collector, a feral beast master. He is terrified of more guy flies, and quite frankly it looks like he's collected his own ears and that's where he started. Sheesh, this is an ugly motherfucker. Okay. Anyway, this guy, Nazu Crush, who is, uh, I'm going to assume a mad character, by the way. His uh, head is kind of split open like that. Uh, doesn't really have that many weaknesses. He only has a vulnerability to stealth, and that's going to be the only way I'm going to be able to get after him. So that's going to be a pain in my ass. Um, Zugor Skullgrinder. Uh, by the way, some of these I don't remember showing in the last one. Uh, others I do, so... Please forgive me <laughs> if I uh, kind of just show you one that I've already shown. Okay. That said, Zugor Skull Grinder is terrified of poison, which is great for me because that's pretty much my element. Uh, fear of burning and fear of pinning for Zune the Flogger. Uh, I, can, uh, I can exploit the fear of pinning because I do have that ability. Fear of burning, it'll depend what I'm next to. But... It'll be easy to kill him, that's for sure. Feral Marksman, Ulrock the Bone Collector, because of course we always have to have a bone collector in my fucking game. Uh, vulnerable to stealth and beast fodder. The stealth I can do, the beast fodder I can do now, because I also gained a mounting ability um, a while back. All right. And 
Gibu, <laughs> Gubu, Gubu Skull Splitter. I think I killed him last episode. As uh, you can see here, he still has not risen back from the dead or anything. Uh, Flog the Drunk. The Drunk, pretty cool guy. Uh, terrified of burning, more guy flies. I remember showing him. And we're probably going to kill him. We cannot have him floating around when we have the epic nemesis we're going to be fighting soon. Shag Karagor Slayer. This guy's kind of cool. His axes are a little bit goofy looking, but I mean, hey, that's fine. He's got soft target and vulnerability to stealth, so after I stealth on him, I can just shoot him in the head and kill him that way. And a fear of more guy flies, which is useful. Useful to have. I can... There's plenty of those nests floating around. Ashgarn Ghoulkeeper. He came up recently. He tried to kill me. Um, while I was on my way to a uh, online vendetta. But I avoided him. He's terrified of more guy flies. Uh, beast fodder and fear of pinning and a weak master. He becomes temporarily dazed when his pet or gang is killed. And he does have a gang of defenders. So that's one way I can get a good daze in. But terrified of more guy flies I think is going to be the best way to fuck this guy up. Now. Og Blackblade. We're not gonna kill him. We are not killing Blackblade. He is joining my team. He is going to be on my team if it fucking kills me. <laughs> and it probably will several times. But he's a cool guy. We're gonna be getting him. He is a cursed weapon. He's a cursed master. He's fucking awesome as shit. I love him. I want him on my team. <laughs> so we're gonna do that. When we get that opportunity. Now, Kuga the Uncatchable. He used to be Kuga Quickblades, if I remember right. So I don't know where he caught Kuga the Uncatchable as a name. Honestly, I don't know where that happened. But, that's fine. He can have the Uncatchable all he wants, but once I kill him, he's going to be pretty catchable. Anyway, uh, Grisha, one word. Uh, mortally vulnerable to execution. That's pretty much it. I can kill him right now if I want to. Um, anyway, Garl, a new guy, a slayer, uh, terrified of executions. If he's hit with one, he's going to fucking run, which is great. He's flammable as well, soft-headed, and a fear of pinning. I can use all of those. They're great. I can kill him pretty quickly. Muzu the Haunted. I put a uh, death threat on him simply because I wanted to see how it worked. Um... His gear will be stronger, and slightly possible legendary depends on if he's an epic or not at some point. He might become an epic at some point if I go to kill him. Here's hoping. <laughs> and then the quality of the gear that I get from him will rise. So that's how the death threat operates. So here's hoping. Uh, beast fodder and fear of pinning and fear of execution. I can use those. All right, Mystic Assassin, Moog the Seer. Uh, he's a soft target and heavily damaged by poison, which is great for me, as we all know. And he has a fear of grogs, which will rarely happen. <laughs> Definitely not anytime soon. Scoth the Wise, a mystic trickster. He's flammable and has a fear of burning. That's really the best benefits I got. I'm going to have to get him close to a grog barrel or something or a couple stacks of grog and just blow them the fuck up and hope that gets him. And if that doesn't kill him, hopefully it gets him close enough that I can just knock him out with melee. And Akaro, another pain seeker, because apparently I can't have just one. Uh, the other one being in uh, Minas Ethel. I think, yeah, it was Minas Ethel. Or Minas... Yeah. I don't fucking remember. <laughs> I don't remember names that well. Anyway, uh, Flammable and Beast Fodder, which is pretty easy to inflict pain on this guy, which apparently he seems to love. Fucking masochistic motherfucker. Anyway, and then Ronk the Wild. He is uh, part of an outpost that I'm going to take out in this episode. He's vulnerable to execution, and he's sickly, so that's easy for me. And... Here's Ugol Kingslayer, another epic. 
He's terrified of burning and spiders, and he's vulnerable to execution, stealth, and beast fodder. So, he's a pretty easy kill. He's a pretty easy kill. Probably don't need to do much. Here's Narug. I think I might as well show his weaknesses. Soft-headed and exhaustion. So I can daze him with a shot to the head. And after his enrage, which only starts with poison, which, of course, my forte. After he's done his rage, he's exhausted. So he becomes dazed from that, which is something I can exploit. Now, the Berserker guy here. Hogrish Manbreaker. He has Beast Fodder, and he has Soft Headed. And that's really all I have in ability to kill him. He has a Fire Warder, which is good because I'm not into fire. He has Mighty Hunters, which is going to be a pain in my ass if he actually had Hunters with him. He currently does not. Um, he has the basic tribe and class bonuses, which is fair. Um, enraged by ghouls and enraged by cowards. Hopefully we don't do any of that around him. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be bringing in ghouls at all. All right. Uh, Tugog of the Hand. His hand is actually pretty gnarly if you look at that. He's got a full sort of plated gauntlet there. Just must mean it's some sort of enchanted in some way. Uh, he's a hysterical master, so he flees in terror when one of his bodyguards is killed. So we'll have to keep that in mind. That will make him easy to kill once we kill one of his bodyguards. And soft target and sickly. So we're going to end up using poison and shots to the head, if not shots to the body, to kill him straight dead. Hopefully we can do that. Alright, I think I showed everyone. I did. Now let's get the fucking up. Ronk the wild. There we go. And, whoops, there we go. Take out the outpost. Perfect. Defeating the outpost leader disables alarms, which is what we want. It makes it very, very easy for us to take on the main fucking fortress once we do this. Let's get going, huh? And now the hunt shall end. That it shall. All right. Whew! Have to kill Ronk the Wild's hunters. Which is... This is not that much different from the online vendettas. You have to bring them forward and... Then that's pretty much it. You go after them right after that. Okay. And I also got Bird of Prey, which is nice. Oops, that didn't work. That did not work at all. There we go. This could have gone badly. In fact, it almost did. Hi there. Fuck you. Goodbye. Thank you very much for dying. Okay. These are... These guys are getting a little too close to where I used to be. Okay. So, let's kill you. Kill you. There we go. And kill you. There we go. Whew! That was a little too close for comfort. And you're dead. Goodbye. Perfect. I gotta remain somewhat stealthy, because otherwise I'm gonna get fucked up. That's the last thing I want, right now. Alright, and... Whoop! Okay. Yep, it is! You know what else? I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> like this. <laughs> You're dead. Alright, and he... He was so scared he ran off and killed himself. <laughs> That's fucking great. Also, I can detonate those from just from my bow. Don't even need to do much else. Don't need to, you know, shadow strike right into it. Which used to be the thing that I needed to do, but now I do not. Oh, yeah, that's right. These things typically have a poison thing next to them, which it does. I see it. Okay, and... And, whoops, okay, that didn't work out. That really didn't work out. There we go, kill you. Fuck you. Alright, time to run again. Let's go back. I consistently keep fucking this up. Because I take too long with my shots to try to line it up and should just let it fly. Get it over with. 
But now, I keep being a putz about it. Alright, kill you. Really? That didn't kill him? Okay. Well, fuck me. Alright. Let's do this. Kaboom. <laughs> Big old bale fire explosion. Hey, Ronk. Real wild man we got here. Yeesh. Vulnerable to execution and sickly. Which is good because I can do both of those. Okay. Whoop. Time to run. <laughs> Alright. That's... There we go. Whoops. <laughs> I was trying to hit him with the knife. But I hit the guy in front of him. He is fucking crazy. I love it. Okay. Time to do this. There we go. Eh, get a good hit on you. Oh, jeez. And the poison's gonna finish the job. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. Gronk the Wild was killed. Hey, dismantled. Disable an outpost. Perfect. Beautiful. And I guess I can grab this from him. It's a ranger sword, so it's not much use. It's really not much use. I mean, it looks good. It's just not useful to me. Alright. Now that that's done. Now that I've done that bit of good stuff. Um, oh yeah, those are... <laughs> and it popped up in my computer, of course. Uh, this is the online vendetta. I'm not going to do that today. I've already done enough of those today. Uh, there was an... Uh, <laughs> what was it? I think it was called the... Avenger <laughs> of something like that. It was the quest for the weekend, so I was like, fuck yeah, I'm gonna do it. And then for some reason it was goofing up a little bit. It decided it didn't want to register some of my uh, Vendetta kills properly. But uh, after I bitched about it on Twitter, that's when it started working again. <laughs> so that was good. There we go. Kill you. Goodbye. You're dead. <laughs> Alright, let's head over here to get this one. But yeah, I got the uh, loot chest from that. It was a gold loot chest. And nothing really of value came out of that one, so. Goodbye. You're dead. Get some health from that stealth kill, because that's what my uh, cloak gives, gives, gives me. That's what I meant to say. But of course, my fucking tongue doesn't want to cooperate. Yes, it was me killing you. Goodbye. You fuck. <laughs> there we go. Whee! Some arrows, always nice. There we go. Beautiful. And let's head over here. Yo, yeah, you, you didn't see nothing. You didn't see nothing of anything. You don't know nothing of anything. Alright, just keep moving left. So that's all I need to do. Oh, hi there. Fuck you. You guys better run off. There you go. You knew what was good for you. All right, and get this. What the hell name was that? Gazgumi Kodum. That's one hell of a fucking name. Outpost. Draw out Grisha one word by killing waves of enemies. All right. Um, mortally. Yo, oh, yeah. This was the guy who was mortally uh, vulnerable to execution. I could kill him outright. No problem at all. Defeating the outpost leader disables alarms, which is good. Which is good for me. And good for us in the long run. The alarm is little more than a call for help and a cry of terror. Yeah. Execution kills. What the hell? Why are these people aware of my existence? God damn it. Why the hell is the alarm up? Okay, that's weird. Whatever. All right, whatever. I'm gonna keep moving. I'm gonna go after you. <laughs> that isn't how I meant it, but okay. Sure, why not? And kaboom! That works. Wasn't entirely how I meant it, but that is fine. Either way. Poison that. 
and see how that works out. Uh oh. They now know of my existence. Time to run. There we go. That works. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. I didn't want to jump into there. That, calm down. Italian. I was about to say me, but it's not really me now, is it? Oh, balls. Okay, um, you know what? Time to play this game. And, whoop! Get a little more kill. And let's see if a Karagor comes in. Oh, they do. They do, and they cause havoc. Thank you. Risha! Determination! Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing about one words. They can only muster up one word. Out of all their fury, they can only muster up one word. Determination is what he's feeling towards killing me. Let's see how that works out. Huh. Let's see how that works out for you, buddy. Buddy old pal. Whoop! And you are broken and dead. Goodbye. Thank you for playing. <laughs> Got the Rohirrim longbow, which is worthless to me. Pick that up and break it down. Perfect. Grisha, one word, was killed. And the outpost is gone. Outpost disabled. How about that? And they all run in fear of me, as they should. <laughs> now that we've done all of that, uh, let's see if we can continue that death threat that I put out. How about that? Muzu the Haunted. Let's see how that works out for him. What's his uh, thing again? Uh, view details. And his details was Beast Fodder. I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Okay, well, this is not going well. Whoop! Oh, fuck. Hi there. Oh, yeah? It gets a little personal for you, huh? Well, unfortunately, now I'm gonna have to kill you. Didn't want to. Now you're in my way. Okay. Perfect. And I think he's poisoned now, which... Oh, jeez. Ow. That's not good. Ow. Fuck me. That's not good. Okay. Run. Run time. Because poison apparently enrages him, and I didn't realize that. Oops. Ow. Fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. Oh, jeez. Oh, hey. I killed him. <laughs> Ow. I managed that. I don't get, but that's fine. Well, <laughs> let's break this down, because this is worthless, too. Perfect. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, hey, I didn't even notice that I had this over here. Grab this. Thank you. Even though I don't really need them anymore. At this point, all the R is extra. Gotten pretty much all the gems I really need. Oopsie. Okay, time to run. Time to run, time to run, time to run. Primarily towards this new objective of mine. Up we go. Wee, wee. All right, beautiful. Oh, hi there. You're dead. <laughs> beautiful. There. I take your head and I take your life. <laughs> Run time. <laughs> I love doing that. I love doing that. It's so fun. It's like they think they can get onto me. They were wrong. <laughs> okay, time to do the death threat. See what I can get out of Muzu the Haunted. We will find out in just a moment. Breaker of Shields. Draw out Muzu the Haunted by killing his defenders. We can do that. Sure, why not? Muzu, I have come for you. Hey! He even says their names now. That's cool. Never really had that for anyone except Ratbag. That's something else. Hi there. You're dead. And I'm gonna blow this up. Goodbye. 
<laughs> that was fun. Well, he saw something. Don't know if he saw me, but he saw something. Okay, well, time to kill him. <laughs> there we go. And... Maybe we can use this to cause some havoc. And... Kill you! <laughs> Beautiful. I love it. I love it. Uh-oh. Time to go up. Because Karagors are still a bitch and a half to fight. Alright. Um. Hmm. Who should I... Do this. Really? That didn't work at all? There we go. That's not what I wanted. But this is. <laughs> Let's go grab this. There we go. Oh, yeah. Will you now? Because right now, it doesn't look like you're finding much of anything. <laughs> Alright. Any new guys? No. Okay, well... This intel's kind of worthless now. Goodbye. You're dead. Alright. Oh, yeah? Don't let me catch you? Huh? Well, okay. Well, this is not going to go well. Unless this explodes, which it should. Okay. Up we go. Whoop. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, geez. Okay, they're following me. And now Muzu's arrived. Jeez, he's a big guy. Here I am to answer it. Oh, yeah? You're not the coward you are. You're nothing but a load of empty threats. Yeah, you say so. Well, for right now, I'm going to be coming for you, my man. Yes, I am back. I am indeed back. Okay, let's see if we can get this. And jump in. Oh, he's vigilant against stealth. I forgot about that. Yeah, your foolishness. Yes. What an awful lot of bother. Here's what I do to fools who waste my bloody time. Oh, yeah? Moves. Well, you're going to have to find a way to do that. Oh, he's enraged by everything. That's going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, immune to curse, though. That I don't have. So, fear of pinning, fear of execution. Okay, get off of me. And... There we go. And that should stun him. There we go. Poison this. Back up. Okay, well that hurt a little. Let's kill him a little more. And knock him around. And you're dead. Maybe. Eh? For the fight to end now. When it was just getting interesting. Ah. I think not. You're gonna be a death defier, huh? Admirable, but foolish. Whoop, okay, what the fuck are you doing? Knock him around. Beautiful. Death threat honored. Promise keeper. Achievement! Issue a death threat and then successfully kill the target. Beautiful. Oh! That's actually a new dagger. Let's look at this. Kill a frozen captain. Your stealth attacks always apply frost. Frost isn't really what I'm going for, though. I mean, it is considerably strong, but... I'm not really going for Frost. I'm mainly going for Poison. And there it goes, and popping on my computer. Um, I mean... Hmm. I could... Could always like the breather, but it's not worth it for me. I want more damage done, and poison does that for me. So, yeah, I'm not. I'm just not going to do this one. I'm just going to break that one down. So, we're good. And this is done, and we are good. Alright, now that all the goofing off has been settled up, I think... I think next episode... I'm going to do the Reign of Arrows. I'm going to finish this and get this done. The main mission stuff. Uh, so we can move on so that way I can eventually bring in, you know, 
the people in the garrison, the Urks in the garrison, so I can actually continue on with the main story. But, for this episode, I have to end it for right now. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. Share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and beating the fuck out of Uruks left and right and taking out some outposts and honoring a death threat for you. Remember, kids, death threats in real life fucked up. Death threats in this game? Okay. Mainly because they're going to kill you anyway. <laughs>